with Dave. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Play with Dave and welcome back to South Park the Fractured But Whole. We are in Dr. Mephesto's lab. He's going to give us a tour and we're going to try to figure out what's going on with the cats. Probably trying to give them more of the glands that make them pee so they can get more drugs. That's probably what was going on with the genetic altering and engineering and st stuff like that. Is there anything else I can grab in here? Anything I can break? Doesn't appear to be. Can I have selfies with any of these people? I don't think I can. Never had an incident here. I feel completely safe. Well, that's good, but there's first time for everything, honey. All right. Let's just move on. Please have a seat. You ever play that video game Half-Life? Okay, here we go. <laughs> what? Here you can see our greenhouse. Genetic engineering is helpful to grow four ass tomatoes, onions, cucumbers, fruits and vegetables. Four ass and more eggplant means more nutrition for people all around the planet. What good does that do? Oh, you Bible thumpers are all alike. <laughs> Let's continue up to the second level, shall we? Craig just asking a logical question. Oh my God! Animals, like these donkey apes, bunny fish, squirrel donkeys, and more. Once we put more asses on these, we will truly be benefiting science. Will you please explain how that benefits science at all? What's your name, little boy? Super Craig. You see, Super Craig, once we know how to do things to animals, we can hopefully apply them to mankind. You think having more asses is impossible? I tell you it's not. Okay, but well, how is it beneficial? Genetic engineering <laughs> is not just for animals and veggies. We are working towards helping people as well. Here you can see genetic mutations of my dead son. Most people don't remember that I once had a young child named Terrence. Oh yeah, I remember that kid. I was wondering whatever happened to him. Terrence was killed tragically in town when some kids were playing around with a relic belonging to Barbara Streisand. Oh, jeez, I think that was us. <laughs> You're doing this all as a way to bring back your dead son? Bring him back? Well, of course not. I'm trying to give his dead body more asses so he can finally rest in peace. Now let's continue on to the fourth floor. Yeah, because his son hung out with the guys that was always like, Oh yeah, that's gay. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's okay. It's stupid gay. Gay and stupid. What are these? These horrible, monstrous mistakes of science. Our new benefactor has asked that we genetically alter some of the local sixth graders. I was going to say, they look like sixth graders. Okay, okay. Why the fuck would you do that? How do you mean? Why the fuck? Would you make genetically enhanced sixth graders? Calm down, Super Craig. How do you think we pay for all this? We have financial donors. Our latest benefactor has asked for this army of mutated sixth graders to protect his altered cats. What altered cats? Oh, right over this way. That's what we came for, was the altered well, cats. Yep, look at that. Mr. Connor has donated money to have stray cats enhanced with more asses. Our company can add asses to things at very competitive rates. The problem is that cats seem to become really aggressive when given more asses. They've proven to be quite deadly. Then why would you bring a bunch of kids up here? Look, the <laughs> this entire facility has a very complex security grid. Oh boy. Huh, that's never happened before. Oh shit, someone shut down the security grid. What do you mean? <laughs> Hello, Freedom Pals. What are you doing, fat ass? So you figured out my little plan, huh, Freedom Pal? Think you can stop me? Oh, I have someone here who'd like to say hello, new kid. Go on top. Guys, guys, it's me, the kid. Will you knock it off? This is me. <laughs> <laughs> If you shut down the security grid, then everyone in this building is going to die. What? Sorry, Doc. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good of the city. So long, Freedom Pal. Oh god, the cats are loose. Oh shit. Many ass cats. What the fuck is that noise? Ugh. Weird. Oh well. Anyway. So here we go. Defeat the many ass cats. <laughs> this shouldn't be too hard. I'm sorry, kids. What's with the vats of pee? What do they do? Uh, they inflict bleeding damage. 
All right. Uh, I don't. God, if only I was like one line closer, I could have got that whole row of cats. But I can take out that, whatever that is, and I can hit that cat in the meantime. Oh, it's going to do splash damage to us. Okay. So it can act as either a trap to them or a trap to me, I suppose. All right. Mm, that wouldn't be good. So let's just work on this one. God, I wish she could do multiple damage to people, but... Or... I mean, well, she can, but that's only her uh, ultimate. Doesn't matter. It was dead. Ah, she's bleeding and grossed out. She needs some help, Stan. You're the only one that can do that. Oh god, that's gonna hurt me. But it's also gonna hurt the cat. Oh no, the cat was done. Okay. You know, I'm not sure this panel actually opens the door at all. Oh, it just lets out more cats. Oop, now I've done it. Uh oh, that's not good. What was that? Oh god, they just got I should have fucking stopped that. But I didn't know. I didn't know. Alright. Need some healing. Let's let's pause. Do some damage. I swear in there, new kid. Got to start taking down their barriers. It's okay, I think I have one of those, uh, fucking, what do you call it? Thing to summon Moses to heal, that's what it was. That's what I was trying to think of. Hairball. I'm gonna only get him. Knock him back. I feel I should mention that my test subjects have a crazed hunger for you. These little guys aren't messing around, super friends. You're up to bat, new kid. Oh god, no, don't hurt Wendy too. Damn it. Oh well. I'm just going to give her an antidote. Give her some regeneration as well, that'll help. Oh, yeah, yeah, that might have messed up the other generator. <laughs> Mephesto, get on that shit. That Quit fucking up. Uh-oh. Another hairball. Gross. Nice. Note the pupil dilation and increased salivary response. Those four ass cats are getting quite pissed off now. 
Oh, they're gonna get raged now. Oh no. Oh, I think this is it. Oh, no, I just let more cats out. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Always need that healing. Shit, shit, I can't do anything. Now they're protected. God damn it. And they got attack up. Fuck. Hmm. No. At least I can take one of them out. Now I got it. Now it doesn't matter. Boom. These cats really aren't that strong. They're just getting these buffs that are making them more difficult. Let's pause again. See if I can pound on some... That's all I can do. I can just take out that one. Wish I could stand where my guy is. That's okay. Bam. Boom. Our ultimate will be ready after this. Well, catastrophic failure in the aquarium. Uh -oh. Why is that even a button? You can take it, Lord. It's fucking hairballs, man. They're gross. Alright, let's finish him. Chim Pokemon Go. Amazing. Your single asses beat their many asses. <laughs> Oh, Mephesto, I've missed you, man. You were a funny ass character. My poor creatures. We must escape the lab. Maybe. Maybe we can go through some of the larger exhibits. This way, children. Should I go back in there? Yeah, because there was. Oh, I thought I could get that. But there's this. There we go. There's that. Oh, see? Look at that. I would have messed that up if I didn't come back. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to do in here. Just some items. Good stuff. I did the same thing as last time, and the result was indeed the same. Oh, God. Now we're going to have to fight the mutant sixth graders. I can't fucking talk. Mutant sixth graders. <laughs> oh, my God. They're so angsty. Fucking angsty preteens. Where's the CPU? Down on the third level. Oh, it was silly to put it there, wasn't it? So somebody <laughs> just had to say not it because I don't talk, so yeah, I feel like I got kind of suckered into this. We'll never finish the tour or even live if you don't flip that tram switch. Okay, everybody's just random dialogue. Nothing nothing super important. So okay, here we go. Oh my god. That is one hell of a sixth grader. Okay, is there like something I can knock down or anything? Cause there's this stuff, which I'm pretty sure I have to uh, pause time. <clears throat> and I can walk across. Maybe. Maybe that's not how I do it. Maybe, maybe it's that. I see something I can hack. Oh, but I can't. Yeah, see? 
Fuck, what do I do? Uh, let's pause again. No, shit. Oh, can I sandblast this? I guess I can. That's interesting. Alright, well, there you go. Now I can hack that thing. <laughs> oh my god, the Mephesto Cray combination. It that just works so well. That is fucking hysterical. Gonna get in there. Ooh. Fucking recipe for an artifact. Hang on. Alright, let's hack this. Uh. All right, and then I pause. I can get in there and pull that out. And flip that? Maybe not. I'm gonna just go ahead and call Scott for this. There we are. Oh, gotta get this out of the way. Oh, come on. There we go. It was too close. <laughs> I see where I gotta put it now. There's a slot over there. Hey, uh, all right. So I gotta get it through. Rewind time. So it'll go back up. And put it in. Bingo. That's it. Now you can access the stairs. Get down to the third level. All right. Here we are. Should be coming to my dead son now. Just keep heading west. Should be coming to my dead son now. So that means we're gonna fight him. There's a vending machine to verify. They're like, hey, you might want to buy some shit. It's the Taco Supreme. Restores a colossal amount of health. That's what I need right there. Bingo. Uh don't sell anything. That's right. I'm a hoarder. Oh, there he, there's a 6th grader. He's like a gorilla 6th grader. The mutant 6th graders. Hey, Jasper, get over here, dude. There's a picture of some boobs, man. Boobs? I want to see some boobs. <laughs> boobs. Thank God they're still just 6th graders. Oh, is that a many-ass cat? <clears throat> okay, well, in we go. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, that's a sixth grader. He just has four asses. <laughs> just, oh, jeez. <clears throat> Alright, come on, Stan. Let's do that weird thing we do with the hose. There it is. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> Excuse me. Gosh. I don't know what's wrong. So if I hit this panic button, what happens? Hey. 
Turn it back on. There, there's some boobs. Boobs! <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay, so what do I do about these guys? Okay. And we go. Jeez. So many things going in my ass. Okay, so... I pause time. So I don't draw their attention. And go in here. Fuck, I can't get in there. I gotta do it from down here. Okay, one more time. I'll try to run up and hit the panic button. Show them some boobs. So they'll be distracted. Bingo. School is for single ass homos. Okay, but what about him? I can't do anything about him. Hey, get that single ass forthy. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Yeah, but that's not all of them. Damn. I guess they're trying... Oh, I could have walked back here the whole time. Fuck. I took that big risk for nothing. So, I guess maybe I'll just... Stun them. And get around them. Nope, I'm gonna have to fight them. Damn it! Oh my god, they have so much health. Luckily, they don't hit that hard. Yeah, they had a lot of health, but... They weren't that tough. They were actually kind of weak. That's it. He's cleared the way. The CPU should be right through that door, kid. We'll come down and join you. So I had to find him anyway. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, you guys. And uh, in the next one, we'll continue our quest to try to confront Mitch Connor, who's got us trapped in Mephesto's lab. So, thank you guys very much for watching this episode. I'll be back later with another video. I hope to see you there. My name is Dave, and I am the One Man Rave. See ya!